All right. you like um and then okra and then some seasonings and garlic so the seasons i'm going to use are going to be um black pepper onion powder garlic powder just total seasoning and salt and cumin i love cumin first thing you're going to do when you make this recipe is you're going to boil the rice you're going to cook the rice you're going to chop up the okra you're going to chop up the garlic and you're going to dump everything like in one pan so I'm just going to show you as I go, or you're going to just see pictures of it as I go so you all can like, you know, just do the recipe yourself at home. You can make adjustments to it if you want. Um, it's really, this dish really kind of calls for okra because I know a lot of people don't eat okra. I love okra, but maybe you can like substitute it for your own favorite like type of vegetable, maybe like a squash or maybe like a zucchini. Something that's kind of like more of a solid vegetable, not something that gets like super soupy if you cook it. So yeah, that's just my recommendation for substitutions if you don't like okra. But here we go. So literally for this boil in the bag rice, literally guys, you open the rice. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use two bags because I'm gonna eat this for lunch tomorrow. And you basically get it. You fill it up with water, bam, and then it's done. So you're going to add the rice to the water, let it boil for like 20 minutes. We'll let it sit in there, then it's going to boil, bam. That's how you make the rice in the bag. So now we're going to open the okra, bam, and make sure you rinse your okra off, okay? You don't want it to be all dirty and all that stuff like that. So here goes the okra. Ooh, it's so good, guys. Okay. And then we're gonna just cut. I'm gonna cut the ends off so you guys can see good. I'll cut the ends off and then just little small pieces like that. And then do this for every piece of okra. to try to save time you can get two okras and kind of do it at the same time so you can just kind of cut double the amount Show you the next step so i feel like my rice is done now so i'm gonna take this shrimp off and i'm gonna pour this water out now i don't know if you have this type of sink right here but if you do a little trick so your rice can drain is like add it on the handle of the sink so i can just sit there and it can drain off and get all that excess water out okay now time for the fun part this is for the main part of the dish okay so we're gonna put 
your stove on like medium high heat, right? But first you wanna just like add your garlic and a little bit of um, olive oil to it. My olive oil's over here. Just to, so the garlic can cook a little bit and get all the flavor and stuff out of it. I'm gonna dump that up in there. And then once that's done, then we're going to add our um, okra. And then after that, we're going to add the tomatoes. And then after that, it's going to be done. <laughs> I think I might have told you guys that this is a one pan meal. It's not. It's more like a three pan meal because I don't make everything in one pan. I mean, the okra and the tomatoes, which is the main part, I make in one pan. But I um, put the black beans in a separate pan and the rice in a separate pan. So it's really like a three pan meal. But yeah, just wanted to make that disclosure. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my black beans in the pan and let them cook. Our garlic is kind of like, you know, cooking down a little bit, getting all the stuff out of it. So that's good. I'm going to add my okra. Up in there. I'm going to add a little, little, little bit of water. I need a lot because the tomato juice is gonna give you a lot of water, but just a little bit of water. Then open my pan of This right here is that old school can opener right here. <laughs> it gets the job done though. It gets the job done. That's all we trying to do is get the job done. And in my black beans, I like to put some cumin in there. Yes. Some onion powder in there. I'm gonna put everything in there. Pepper, garlic powder, everything, because I like my beans to have flavor. This season right here is so good, y'all. It's like my favorite season, I think. Like, try it. And stir that up. We're gonna add the tomatoes. This right here. So we have the tomatoes and okra right here in this pan. And then my black beans are back there. And we're gonna just mix it all together. And we're gonna add some seasoning to it too. Doesn't this look good and just fresh? The green and the red, it looks so good, guys. I'm adding my black pepper and all my other seasonings, the same stuff that I added to the beans. I'm just gonna add a little bit in here, just the garlic powder. Mmm, there goes the second can. Mm -mm -mm. Give it a little test for taste. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so beware. The hot rotel. Y'all, it's actually hot, so if you don't like spicy, do not get the hot rotel. Get the medium rotel. Get the one that doesn't have any spice to it. FYI. And my okra can cook a little more too, so we're gonna just let it simmer. Cover it. 
Turn the heat down a little bit. From there, we're good. So now I'm going to get the rice off my little makeshift drain. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut these bags open. Y'all, I know y'all be out there messing up the rice. I've had a lot of mushy rice. I cook it. Fancy. Stop it. I'm recording. I've had a lot of mushy rice, so. Key thing about rice. You don't stir rice. You fluff it. Okay? Does that, does that make sense? This is what I mean. Like this. You just kind of like break it apart like that. You don't stir it, because if you stir it, it's gonna get mushy, it's gonna be nasty. And your parents, your mama, your daddy didn't teach you that. I'm teaching you that. Hello, mm, Chef Jasmine. <laughs> don't stir your rice. I like to add a little seasoning to my rice. So I put a little pepper in there, and a little of my favorite Total seasoning. Mm. Okay, we're some good rice. Good rice. Good food. Okay, so I mean, I'm about to be done in a minute. I'm about to show you guys the finished product of my wonderful okra black bean tomato rice concoction. Here it goes. It's so good. It's super quick to make. And if you like spice, make sure you add your hot sauce if you want it and make sure you get the hot rotel tomatoes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and cooking with me. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. It's super cheap, it's super quick, and it's Super good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.